meeting of Cecil Township Parks and Recreation Board called to order at 633 633 okay um, in attendance we have Arden staff Wendy Johnson Barb Bressman Heather Manda Jason Wheeler Nicole Hughes Lewis and Jack King no guests as of this moment March meeting minutes submitted for board approval motion by motion second second all in favor? Aye. 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 Financial status update, Jack, please. We, um, we're doing well. I uh, just want to underscore the fact we did not get a donation from Gateway yet this year. Last year we had it by February. Um, I forgot about it, <laughs> but uh, I'm sure we haven't received anything yet. Uh, that we, we probably will, but um, I'm just not sure when at this point. Currently we have 17,500 in uh, sponsorships, donations. We have 6,915 in application fees, so that gives us $24,415 uh, currently. We, and we'll talk about it when we get actually to the fall festival, but we'll be uh, letting new vendors in now. Um, the Easter egg hunt recap, uh, like I said, we had 207 uh, show up from the registered. Um, at, you know, honestly, I felt that was pretty good considering how bad the weather was. Um, and then we had, what, about 15 walk-ins? Yeah. So, you know, all in all, it wasn't too bad. Uh, we know there were issues. Um, the parents were asked when they signed up not to go out on the field, and I saw people almost stepping on eggs. Uh, I saw somebody pick up egg up and look to see if it was a prize, and when it wasn't, they dropped it back down. So obviously, we have to do um, controls next year. So um, yeah, I I'm actually thought about colored bands earlier in the before we ever had it, and I thought, well, it's kind of late now, and I didn't mention it, and we probably could have pulled it off. But um, I agree with the suggestion that next year we should have colored bands by age group, and that way we can also keep kids from not going out on the wrong age group. And no parents. No parents, other than the first group, which I get that. Yeah. And there was one woman who came up to me and she said, "My child is special needs. Do you mind if I go out with her?" So, and I th say in that case, then we give the parent a band too. So it's obvious that they address the issue with us. Well, as somebody, even if they are, even if they, if they have special needs, you even give them a head start. We could do that too. Um, I know. I did flub up on the four, four, was it four to six year olds? Four to seven, what was it? Four to six? Four to six. Or four and five. Four and five. Four, yeah. four and five. Four and five. Four and five. I did forget to say, parents stay back. That, that's on me. But they should have common sense to do that. I agree, but still, I didn't say it. The other age groups, I did tell the parents, the remaining three groups, I said, you guys, you know, parents stay back, kids only. But I did mess up on the four to, you know. But you did the, tell them how many to take, and there was parents taking like 15. I know. Every yeah. time I looked over, I'm walking through, and baskets are filled. I'm like, you know. Can we do something with like um like an announcement or like a DJ type situation? I just felt like it'd be, it'd be nice to have like some type of, it just felt like it needed music or something when I was there, maybe because it was the weather. And that might help get the message across. Um, you know, we do have a. Microphone. That nobody wants to use. Well, <laughs> well, he was loud, but just like you know, just as like a reminder. That's a good loud. This is like something to keep the event kind of rolling with like music. Or yeah, but something. do we want to spring for a, a DJ for that? No, no like no, a no. kid, like you know, like somebody who is just starting out or. Not can back up the Jeep and blare if you need to. I mean, <laughs> you, can, you can do that. Yeah, I just felt like you know when people signed up, it just we just needed some type of yeah we could music do a or something so, playing. Yeah, we yeah. Have like a Bluetooth right. speaker exactly. or something. I got tons of microphones. That might right help there. too, and then that could like draw everyone's attention. Yeah. And I looked on Sheen; they have all those colored bands really cheap, so we could look at those. And you know, I mean, there might be other times we want to have them too, like even with the fishing derby. You know, I don't know. I know there's been a problem because people don't wait and they go pick their hole and everything. And, you know, I don't know if there's any way you could actually assign holes where the band, you know, is their hole. But, I mean, there are maybe other times we could use them as well. Yeah. So, I, you know, I don't think it's a bad idea to keep some in stock. Another question, or, excuse me, add possibly. So these would be for their hot dog and so forth, right? Yeah, if we did a hot dog. Okay. I, I'm... 
I'm kind of with Nicole on this. Maybe we would, would do wristbands and honestly, just get, you know, those, those plastic ones, you know what I mean? Not the paper ones because people can easily tear those off and put it on their wrist when they come in, when they register. When they come get their hot dog, somebody just hole punches it. There's your ticket. Idea. So that way we don't have these people can't say, I lost my ticket. Yeah. Or I don't have my ticket because I know me, I'm terrible holding on to these. Okay. So let me go over what my thought was with these for now. <clears throat> and it's not that I'm against the bands because I think the bands are a great idea. When they come in for this, they do get one for the door, for the um, raffles. Mm -hmm. So, and all they do is put their phone number on the back and they put one in the appropriate age group. So then that's what we use to pull them. Mm -hmm. So th the bands won't work for that. I so get we're that. I, that. I understand that. Yep. Now, my other thought was with these, we talked about these bags, which these bags still need a pretzel in it. And we need to talk about what kind of fish we're going to put in it. These bags, we don't want them to have them down by the creek. So they get one of these and it could be a hole punch, but um, they come and retrieve their bag when they're done, either via a hole punch or this ticket. Um, now, since we're doing this, and it's going to have a pretzel in it, we need to talk about the fish. Do we want to do the free hot dog too? Or do we just want to, because this has in it. Are we going to have water? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Should we have pretzels left over? Yeah, I was thinking about the time okay. of the event too. Like This has morning. in it the Italian ice, either a Chick-fil-A or Raisin Cane, Cupcake, Texas Roadhouse, KFC, wow. and... Wild things. Free check sun. the cupcake, though. I think that expires the 30th. Huh? Which, check the cupcake. So I think does that expires. Raisin Cane. Oh, so we they? have to make sure we tell them. Oh, so you're, okay. What date is it on the 27th? Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. I understand. So they have, they do have to use those quickly. So those are a couple options for dealing with those. So first of all, what about the hot dog? Are we doing hot dogs since we have these or no? Because uh, let me take another thing into consideration. One of the things we talked about besides putting a pretzel in here, we thought it would be fun to put like Swedish fish in it or goldfish, which would be another reason not to do hot dogs. So um, what all did you find on pricing on the Swedish fish? Um, I'll have to go back on our text, but I, I think I looked at the bags. I and found they like fit a couple these, different they options. Are they the really small yeah, ones? Yeah, they'll fit in there. I could, you could come back to me on that. I'll get the pricing. Especially stand up and what are we going to have there? Yeah, because I was thinking not timing. Not like, it's morning. Like, when the event goes to what? One. So they might want lunch, but. Yeah, I mean, I, I we won't have the full thing. You know, maybe just hot dogs. and. I mean, if you want hot dogs, I'll grill them. Yeah. I think people I don't like care. the hot dogs. I think yeah. I mean, it is really what about just keeping the yeah. registration sheet at the hot dog stand and you could just highlight their name to eliminate having to just be like, what's your name? And then. Take it off the list, but will that not help? If you have, do we have walk-ins day of? We could have. Right. Okay. Can I uh, jump in here? Yeah. There, we can't close the park. Um, we can't close the stream. We can't close the tennis courts. Um, so people are going to come in anyway. Uh, some are going to come in as normal, unregistered, you know, so, you know, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll adopt that. Now, we do have wristbands from the last time we used them. I just don't know how many. Are you thinking along the same lines of those uh, different colored ones um, for ages? And it, these are those, um, that heavy plastic that once you put it on, you actually have to cut it off. Uh, it's not like you can tear it with your fingers. Yeah. You know? uh, I think we had pink, we had green, yellow, blue. Um, remember those when we used them last? I don't remember ever using them. I mean, you can even, even use those by age group. Yeah, we, I'm yeah. trying to remember Did what we... we them for? This was early on. This was I'm like 2020. Before it's before us, I think. Oh, okay. 2020, 2021. Um, oh, no. Well, I'll 220, pull... we didn't do anything. 2020, right. we didn't do 21 anything. 21 of those long later all right i'll pull them out and show you and see if you want something similar to that um it's far you know as far as hot dogs i mean I, sure i mean if you want to do that um now is that like just hot dogs for the kids that are fishing um you know do you want anything else do you want 
nachos and cheese? Do you want uh, pretzels? Or, you know, are we going to stick to, uh, like, a hot dog and a drink for the registered uh, anglers, if you will? And then uh, everybody else can... I'm just trying to think of how many people are going to have to be in a concession stand. I would say if we're going to do hot dogs, on an event like this, we keep it simple. We don't do big dogs. We just do... Just yeah. do one hot dog. Yeah. The kids get a free one. The, the, if the adult wants one, how much are you charging for those right now? Two? Two bucks. Yeah, it's not Two bad. bucks if an adult wants to buy a hot dog. Yep. But I say we just buy, just get one size. Yeah, yeah. I agree with that. If they have a wristband on, you get a hot dog, and the, everybody else pays. But yeah. then how do you make sure do they like don't get five hot dogs? Bag too, I mean, we still have to market Yeah, somehow. grab and go. Yeah, we have to market somehow. I agree. Now, Shop and Save should be coming up with their buy one, get two free uh, sales. So I will just get a you know a couple of cases of that, and we'll just have them, you know, for whenever. Okay. Now, if we want to keep it simple, we can use the wristbands. When they come get their hot dog, we can have a marker there that we just put a mark on the wristbands. Yeah, I, I thought of that too. Yeah. I just thought in case fish derby gets wet or something like that, and they yeah. oh, we're off. That because we have to ex- people will do plan that. for this. Yeah. I have a couple whole bunches. Do you? I have okay. one too. Okay. I got the pricing. Sam's Club seems to be the best deal on goldfish. Uh, Thirty-six count is thirteen dollars a box. Um, we would need three boxes for one hundred and eight bags of them. Would be thirty-nine forty-two to add to the goodie bags. If we want to do that, I could pick it up and then motion turn it to in. Are those those little packs. Or the yeah, they're the, they're the yeah. standard size packs. They will fit in there. With the goldfish ones. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's a good price. Swedish, yeah. fish. Swedish fish or goldfish? Swedish. Um, Goldfish. Gold the Swedish fish. fish were like almost up to a hundred. We priced, yeah. The really? Swedish fish yeah. were much more expensive. Like terrible. I, I love yeah. Swedish fish. Me too. Yeah. But. <laughs> okay. Motion to purchase the goldfish to put in these bags. Motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Did you want me to get those, or how do you want to handle that, or do you want to do a Jack Sam Club run? Yeah. If you want to tell me where they are, I mean. Yeah, uh, I'll give you the out number and screenshot. While we're talking about, does anybody have any outstanding receipts, and does anybody is anybody owed money? All right, because I want to. Uh, I don't want you going out of pocket, so I'm going to try to, you know, give you that money as soon as you give me a receipt. And if you don't have the receipt, Heather, um, you can. Uh, just kidding. <laughs> you can just, you know, just let me know how much it is. And uh, these you know. were dollar Jack. I think really? I afford that. <laughs> Wendy, was three, is 108 Spencer. enough for register? 108. Huh? 108. Yeah, it was okay. like 108. And then we'll have Unless some we got that one packet. Even then, it was like 108, wasn't it? With the three individually wrapped? No, but like, is that enough for our people signed up? We're going to have 80, no, but we'll have, have 108 80. total. Okay. We'll extra, and then it'll give us extras. One. Yep. Okay. Um, so we're going to go ahead and give the kids a hot dog and a drink. A motion to do that? Motion. Second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Can I ask you what kind of drinks you want? I was just going to say probably high seas or something, right? Yeah, like juice pouches. Juice pouches. Okay. Yeah. Who texted me this? That was me. Can you put, text me uh, juice pouches too? Yeah, do you want me to get... <laughs> no, that's all right. Just, just a reminder. I'll just juice grab it. Juice boxes. Okay. And then as far as taking in cash for what adults buy, are you going to ask Arlene or are yeah. you just going to... She's, okay. she's dying to be get part of things. Getting something, huh? <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. and, and last time it was just... You know, I mean, without the water, it, we just couldn't justify, you know, doing a lot of anything. And uh, um, she, she called me earlier, said she was going to have surgery. Then she called me back and said, no, the surgery's off. So she's available and she just wants to, you know, participate. So it's going to be a $300 cash box, not a real big one, mostly ones. And, um, you know, we'll just, we'll just do it that way. I don't even think we need a – well, I guess we can do the little strips, the slips like we always do. Yeah, she likes we don't those. need much on them. Um, Pretzels, nachos, and hot dogs. That's and we fine. have the bottled drinks too. We'll sell those. Yeah, yeah. The bottled drinks. Yeah. Mess with the cheese. What's we that? have the things now. We actually have the, the sp- dispenser. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. 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 They yeah, Amazon has the, been out. Put the hose in right this time. <laughs> <laughs> I went to the I went to the instruction book to get the right uh, cheese bags this time. Those cheese bags have been out by the first of March for the last two years. I mean, these concession stands are just buying everything they can find. So I got plenty for to get us through probably to the, through the summer. Okay. Okay. Um, Richie Metals, they uh, do not have shirts, but they will have name, name tags identifying themselves. Um, 
You know, one thing about maybe using different colored bands is the kids that have little experience, we can give them one color so Richie Metals volunteers know to target those kids. Okay. So yeah. do it by experience instead of by age. Do you want to meet with this group before um, that Saturday? Do you think we can? Probably. Because that I way we can lay it out and just say, this, this is what we have in mind. You know, yeah. what are you guys thinking? Yeah. Um, that might help. Were now, there neon vests in the concession stand? One or yeah, two. Yeah, we have a couple. Wasn't there like a neon vest in there? There's one or we two. We can get more of those. We did more. talk about getting a couple more, too. You know what I mean? That way we could use them for like other for things, too. You know, and volunteers, anybody that wants to. Yeah. That would be a good investment, I think, too. All right. I can get maybe, uh, why don't I just get 10 of them and just put them down there? I think it's a great idea. That way we don't have to worry about the name tags. They can spot them along the creek, whatever we need to. So, Wendy, we're not going to do anything with the uh, uh, festival shirts because we were talking about giving them, giving them one? Oh, um, what I talked to what Jack about is, in, you know, our Cecil Township Fall Festival shirts didn't sell. So what I talked to Jack about was instead of buying more of those because, you know, our inventory is pretty low now, is getting a shirt, blue and white T-shirt, I mean blue and yellow T-shirt, and on the back it says volunteer. So then we have those for fall festival. We have them anybody. for any time. Yeah. We don't have to worry about what event it is. Um, it's the same color as our shirts, but, you know, ours are, yeah. you know. So. Um, Will they turn them in at the end of the thing or keep them? No, they get to keep them. Okay. Yeah. I mean, do you, did anybody at Oktoberfest turn their shirts in afterwards? <laughs> no. <laughs> what are you going to do? You're going to go home and wear it? <laughs> oh, I thought you'd tell me to go home and wash them and bring them back after <laughs> I did everything else. And I have a neighbor who wants to volunteer. I think that shows you. He's an older guy at way up the street. Does For the fishing derby? Special, yeah. He wants okay. to help, so he can just come that morning. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that'll be fine. Um, and I'll get hold of Josh at Richie Metals. And okay. Okay. Yep. All right. Um, but we do want to hand out the goodie bags at the end because, like I said, we don't want any of those things taken down by the creek because you know people are going to open the Sarah's pretzel and. <laughs> so, um, now somebody brought up uh, talking to the Boy Scouts about doing a presentation. Didn't he ask? So I talked to, I think his last name, I worked with his wife years ago. For name? Adam. Adam. <laughs> <laughs> I talked, I just mentioned it to him at the um, egg hunt. He seemed interested. He said they have like badges to earn for like fishing. And um, I told him we would be in contact with like what we wanted but I just wanted to bring that up to see what we think would be appropriate. I didn't know if it would be best before, because I guess you said everyone is like wanting to get to their spot, but that's hard to do, so yeah, open it, the floor for feedback on what you That's our be big best. problem is logistics, because they come in and they want to grab their spot, and they don't want to congregate as a right. group and, and, you know, have any... And, you know, does anybody think, like, people would... Unless they just went around to each group. Yeah, like something like that. Like, Because I know as a kid when I fished, I got bored after the first couple minutes. And like, Trust me, Brady's Do you know what I mean? Like, like kids are going to be like, I just thought like it would be something to break up the event, you know? Um, I don't know how to execute it, though, so. Or what to ask for. Do you want to reach out to Adam? Right. Do you want to reach out to Adam and ask him? Do you know Adam? Him? You want to talk to him? I'll talk to him. Okay. Yeah. That works. Is that Boy Scouts or Cub Scouts? He's, he's Boy Scouts. Boy Scouts. Okay, I've known Adam and, his, and Brooke forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Jason will reach out to them. Um, we're going to use color bands based on experience. So I like that idea. Uh, concession stand, you're good with our needs, Jack? Yep. And any other updates? Do we want to talk prizes? Uh, prizes. Um, we have a bunch of prizes that were never claimed from the Easter egg hunt. So at this point, I would say they're not going to get claimed, so we're going to use those. We also, since then, uh, by the way, I, I talked to Washington Wild Things. They felt very, very bad about the fact they never got back to us. Uh, we got tickets for a prize for the fishing derby, um, and we got the free Sunday things to put in these bags, and they already have marked their calendar for the fall festival. Awesome. So, okay. How do they get the prizes? Like, what, do, what are we doing off of that, like? They get a ticket, and then they put... Oh, we're just doing a drawing. It's not off, like, biggest fish or most fish or something. No, we oh, don't. Oh, I understand. Yeah, there's... 
so many variables yes. in that. I was going to say, yeah, how are we executing? Yeah. So we don't need that many. And we just want it to be fun. We just yeah. want them to introduce them to fishing and be yeah. fun. Gotcha. That's our goal. I was thinking about, I, I don't I will just do it as a donation, but I was going to purchase like a little tent or like a blow up boat just as like a wow factor for the prize table. Like just, you know, as like a big item to give off. I priced them. They're like $20 on Amazon for a tent or a blow up boat. I don't know if that would be like a good fit for this event or not. Yeah. Yeah. Because I just thought like if you saw like a tent in like a prize table, like it would just be cute. And we'll call attention to it. Yeah. Do you know what I'm just trying to think of? The, and then I didn't know if there was like a photo op opportunity. So if uh, they do catch a fish, like can they, can we be tagged somehow? Is there like some type of, have you ever done any type of like filter or like, I don't know what the kids are using. I'm still in the Snapchat era, but I don't know. But something that says like Cecil Township or something with like fishing derby, like how can we like capture the photos for the event? Heather. <laughs> we just walk around and we yeah, just we take them. And then well, I, thought maybe your husband, yeah. I thought maybe yep. your husband could pull something off for us. <laughs> I didn't know if there was just like some type of photo op or prop or I don't know. Well, but. what we could do, there's a couple of places um, that I could send you links to that you take the photo and then you put the graphics over top of it. Yeah. And, you know, you can make it all different types. Um, you choose the font type, mm -hmm. size, color, everything, mm -hmm. and you just put it right over top of the. So it could be like Cecil Township uh, 2024 uh, exactly. Fishing Derby. And, um, that would be a nice memento or memory for a parent to have. from. Yeah, the and event. I could print that off in my office. Yeah. I like that. So are we getting the volunteer shirts for fishing derby? <laughs> Will we have them in time? Um, Where's it coming with my sweatshirt? I mean, they'll have. <laughs> All right. <laughs> my intention. I, I told her I was going to bait you in. <laughs> I, I actually thought about it 10 minutes ago, and I thought, don't, don't do it. My <laughs> intention was to have everybody's sweatshirt tonight. All right. They, I don't know why they're not here. Um, Can we I've, see some paperwork or something? <laughs> <laughs> no. All right. I want you to call Jennifer at JD and Gravy. <laughs> okay. Chuck, who? <laughs> Hey, anyway, just I already go. paid for them, so it's there. Um, but uh, I could see. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, what are we talking about? All, all larges, or do, do we want, like, uh, so many of each, like we did last time? For the volunteers. Yeah, saying volunteers. I don't know of, if I get a wide variety. You want to go, like, Handful. do the Costco kind of thing, like middle of the road, and just say we're going to get 15 um, larges, or do you want... Ten extra large and five large and something. I say something like that. I say large and extra large. Okay. Yeah. Well, no, that doesn't work for our fall festival, though. We have all the young, young girls. There's yeah, but but a lot of the young girls like bigger shirts now. I mean, can we do vests for those? But I've given them out, and I know. Am I, am I right? No. They do. They could tie them. You know. They, they, they tie them tie. back or tie so them in the front. I'm okay with not getting smalls, but we need mediums. I'm okay with not getting smalls. All okay, right, so we'll do get you, one medium. A couple medium. I give out the shirts. I know what these girls want, and they come in with want mediums. All right, that that uh, group that I finally got from them uh, for Easter with Parks and Rec was about three hundred dollars. Okay, so we got uh, how many? Sh Thirty shirts for about ten dollars a piece, which wasn't bad. Yeah. You know, um, I can do. I mean, I can do a, a variety of sizes and just keep them. I'll just get another uh, plastic Tupperware thing or whatever they call and just keep them in there for future if you want to stick with those colors and we stick with that, that format. That, that shouldn't be a problem. I would say 5, 10, and 5. 5. We'll, we'll go uh, through more than that at Fall Festival. Okay. 5, 10, and 5. <laughs> I'm just telling you. That That's works. 20. So you, you want to get 50 shirts? Huh? You want to get 50 shirts? We'll get uh, 10 medium. Um, 25 large, maybe. Okay, then why don't we do 15, uh, well, 10. <clears throat> 10, all right, 25, that's 35. And then do um, you want to do? 15 extra large. 15 extra large. I'm wondering, I know I did an inventory at the end of this festival. I'm wondering if I did one the year before. Let me go back to in my system and see okay. if I can tell how many we use in the year. 
Does anybody want bigger than extra large? Well, that's that's the thing. I mean, I don't think we've ever used a bigger than extra. The large. only reason I got the three X is when we were doing that, um, we were doing the beer thing uh, yeah. that year, and we were going to give them to the firemen because they're all two X or bigger, <laughs> you know. Um, but I think we have one shirt of that batch left, and everything else is the new one. Do everybody like the new new uh, uh, oh, T-shirts? Yeah. yeah. I love that. Uh, yes. I mean, when I saw that, I was like, that's perfect. That's exactly what I want. So that's what's going to be on everything from now on. It's going to be on the uh, hoodies when they come. That's going to be on all the future shirts. Now, I'm not going to do that digital on the back. I'm just going to do it for, with a crest. Because as you're seeing, we're, we're emphasizing the Cecil crest on a lot of things. You know, I try to put it on anything that goes out, anything that's on the web webpage. That the, it's more... Um, brand, you know, identification than anything else. Because you have the crest on the back. On the t-shirts? Mm -hmm. That Have volunteer in the front Yeah. and have the crest on the back. Good idea. What are your thoughts? Personally, I think that will probably look better. Because it's different than the ones we have, sort of, kind of. Yeah, that crest. I mean, especially if you want, if you're branding the township and the crest. Yeah. That, that's what you want to be your main focus. It's going to be at your back. How big? I mean, just you know, whatever whatever the shirt guy thinks would fit fit the back of the shirt. Then I would put volunteer whatever thing on the on the front chest somewhere. That's just me. Because if mean? somebody's talking to you, they're, or you're coming toward, they're going to see volunteer here. They're yeah. not going to see your back. I yes. I'm fine with whatever all of you want. Either way, I'm fine with. What do you guys think? I think sometimes when you're looking for somebody, you do see their backs. Yeah, you see volunteer quicker. A lot than of companies would. do put their. Yeah, like staff. But it doesn't matter, either one. Yeah, they have staff on the front or something. Yeah. I love staff. I mean, even back when I used to bounce correction money. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to get them to give me a couple um, just proofs of, uh, you know, the crest on the back, the crest on the front, um, volunteer on the back. Uh, volunteer on one of the breastplate. Um, all right, I'll, I'll get her to do that, and then you guys decide. What I was gonna say, do we really need that, or can we just make our mind up right now? Or I yeah, mean, I'm fine with whatever you pick. Yeah, I was gonna say it doesn't really matter. I don't, I don't think it's that big of a deal for us to like vote okay. on, to, you know, three different. Yeah, styles. we trust your judgment. You did a good job mm -hmm. with the t-shirts, so okay. we do. Yeah, okay. I trust you. I okay. Agree. You'll cool. fix something. That's one that, less yeah. thing for you to do. And if not, we'll just complain about it. <laughs> you know, add it to your list. <laughs> hey, nobody can complain as much as they did last night, so bring it on. I didn't bother you yesterday. Yeah, I see you're leaving the chairs here for next week. No, actually, actually, uh, Denny's going to be down at the fire department tomorrow morning at 8, and these guys better have them all down there because he doesn't wait around too long. That's for the cage fight. You can whack him some maximum with a chair. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. <laughs> um, Okay, is that everything on fishing? Fishing derby. And I have shirts. I have to leave at the fishing derby at like <clears throat> quarter to twelve. Oh no! You're Just fired. Going to put that on the record. Oh, man. Nice knowing you. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> um, we'll be fine. You know, it's not like. But I'll be there early to set us. Up. We don't have that much to, because <laughs> we don't fish. <laughs> do we need to get there like earlier to get the concession stand running, cheese flowing? Like, what do we need to do there? <laughs> cheese, cheese flows. flows. You know, it just flows like... on its own. Um, <laughs> hot dogs. It shouldn't take that. Ten o'clock. Hot dogs. We'll, we'll, no, we'll yeah, use I mean, the griddle. I'll know. be there early enough to turn the uh, the heating uh, you know bins on and and everything. I'll get the coffee started. Um, you know, it's whenever you, whenever you can get there, you know, okay. but it, I mean, it's not like a crack of dawn type of thing, you know. I mean, this is not that big of a deal. I mean, fall festival, yes. <laughs> you yeah. Know, but this is this is not going to be that big. So we'll end up with two hole punches, one for them getting the hot dog, and then one from them getting their bag on their wristband. You want me to bring my hole punch? Yes. I wonder if there's any chance your hole punches are different. That would be nice. I have a four-leaf clover one. Like, oh, good. Do you want one of those? <laughs> yeah, St. Patrick's Day birthday. So then one will be the just just hot dog and one will be the... Yeah, that's lucky. Cool. Okay, works for me. Okay, anything else for fishing derby? Okay. Well, I, I have one quick question. Sure. Coffee. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
should we spend the money and get a decent big coffee maker? Sure. I'm, I'm looking right now. How big? How big a one? You, are you, you can get a hundred cup commercial one for a hundred bucks. Hundred nine dollars. I I have no problem with that. That way, we get rid of the the crap that's missing oh, parts stuff, or whatever yeah. the case is, or donated, or somebody can take it home. Yeah. But we have one that we can keep clean. That is clean. It's ours. Yeah. And it's ours. Yeah. Yeah. Because every event we're like coffee, and we're it, it's scrambled. Yeah. All right. How big is it? Like how much space is it? It so looks like the ones you know. Same kind of thing. Yeah. The steel thing, but round yeah. like that. All right. Do, it, I mean, does it have that basket in it? Or, I mean, how does This it one's work? quick brewing, $109. Okay. How many cups? 100. You don't have to make 100. Though, right? No. No, but still, I mean, if we have a big event, you might just fill it up and you're done for the day. Car does cruise. it take filters? Does it have a basket? What does it have? It has the basket. Okay. Food grade three or four stainless steel basket. No, no paper filter needed. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So we don't go to full run of filters. Check out. How long does it take to make 100 cups? Four, 100 cups is 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. But that's not bad for 100 cups. No, you could start it. You could still yeah. take coffee out of it. It just, it'll yeah. keep making. <clears throat> and then you that's for a 14 liter. If you want so an 18 is it like liter. like a drip or a percolator? Like it's yeah. kind of like a percolator. It pops up in the. It puts the water over top of that metal grate where the, where the uh, coffee is. That's why I'm thinking you might have to make 100 cups. Well, it depends on how to. much water you put in there. And then how much water and how much coffee. It all does. Okay. Yeah, I, I know what you're, the old-fashioned ones you had to. It yeah. was like 100 or nothing. Is you there know? anything less than that 100? That's like what we have in there. I don't drink coffee. coffee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that, I'm sure there is. Too much. But for any kind of large tea, one, that's kind of, they all started about 100. All right, so you're proposing to get all the old, uh, old ones out and then replace it with Just them. have one. Get rid of them all. I mean, I get my coffee maker back. Yeah, yeah. gladly. And Barb doesn't have to carry hers around. Right. Awesome. Motion to buy a coffee pot for $109. Motion. Second. 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 All in favor? Aye. Aye. Second motion is to collect the GoFundMe page for Barb to get a new bench. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you bring your own bench. <laughs> <laughs> send me that coffee maker you want. Just send me, send me the. Do you have Prime, or I can order it and just pay me. Doesn't matter. It's easier on him if he goes through the township to get her. Okay, I'm, I'm just saying I can yeah. buy it right now. Whatever you want to do, I'll, I'll reimburse mm -hmm. you. What's easier for you? I mean, it, six and one and a half does another. It, it, as long as you're not out of pocket for too long, that's that's my main concern. I can I can buy it right now, or I'll it's buy it right good. now. Whatever. Okay. So can I buy the $20 uh, vegetable no. chopper off of Amazon? Yeah. You've been, you've been after that vegetable chopper for about two years. Well, I don't now. like that one that's over there that's electric because I won't use it. I can Just tell you that it. right now. It's old. In stock. I will have it by tomorrow. <laughs> nuh -uh. I'll send you a picture of it, though, Jack, so you know which one I'm talking about. Yeah. If, uh, if you want to get it, I'll get it. Whatever. I'll use my Amazon card and get points. See, yeah. There's always a motive. I just put No. The, <laughs> I just put thirteen hundred dollars on mine for my car, so I should have some good points coming. I just bought two tires on Amazon. Yeah. All right. So, anything else on fishing derby? No. Other than, like, what time did we say we were? Ten. Coming? We're coming at ten. Yeah. Okay. And what time are all the kids going to start coming? It starts at eleven. The registration should be about ten thirty. Anybody got to register that morning? It's ordered. Oh, oh and um, let me. Oh. So, should we get there like earlier then, or? What time? Um, see, I, I think registration, because it goes so fast, should be at, at 1045. I have it from 10 to 10 to 1. Oh, is it 10? Then we should be here at 9. Yeah, the flyer says 10 to 1. Okay. I think that's what the website says. Yeah, you're 10 right. To 1. Yeah, you're right. So 9 o'clock. Right now we have 49 kids signed up, so we want to post a new reminder, okay? Yep. All right. Ooh. All right, so 9 o'clock. Order, order total, 116.59. Oh, man. Break the bank. Oh, that darn tax. Yeah. We need tax exemption status. Okay. I thought we was getting a 501c. None of us want to put our financial information on that. <laughs> well, we shouldn't have to. That shouldn't be us. That should be the township. Right. 
Yep. Um, okay, touch a truck. Letters went out? The ones you sent me two days ago? Yeah. They're going out tomorrow. Okay. So I got the letters to all the invites. Um, so Jack will mail those tomorrow. Um, I did include trucks for Maddox on it. So I, think I just push it, advertise it more, and it, they get much of a draw. Yeah. I don't know how many things last year they got. Yeah, because I, I don't think we advertised it enough. I mean, because it was kind of late that we even got them in on it. So, yeah, we weren't going to really push the trucks for Maddox um, once we know for sure they're going to come. Hey, and will Jack, we have, like, an event that people could put their interest in, in like a Facebook event, so you got it. since this is open to everybody? I'll drop it off. If it gets early enough, I'll drop it off tomorrow. Volunteer? No, like, for to advertise the event. You know how, like, you could make a event Facebook that people put, I'm interested so then it gets the word out more. It's, it's me. I've been bad. I haven't. Oh no, I just didn't know if we did it or not. I just thought because this one's open to the community, so we could share a way to get people in. It's my life's been a little. Oh yeah, I don't. Even, I don't even know how to do it. So you don't know. <laughs> I could try, but you want to go ahead and try it because I don't think I have any of them set up. I don't really. I don't even know if I have fall festival set up. Okay. Yeah, because that's what I think we need to do. We need put that on our lunch don't date. Don't mind trying. That'd be great. I will try. Oh, in a couple minutes after here, can I show you guys how? To switch between admin and yeah, because we need to get events for fall festival, community day, and touch a truck we can trending those too yeah. and trail of treats and trail of treats. Yeah, yeah. and um, our movies. I figured out the tagging problem too, so we'll cover okay, that. Cool. Okay, all right. Um, Jack, can you get the helicopter confirmed because we have a real nice flyer, but we can't put it out till we're sure the helicopter is going to come. I called. Uh, remember, Rod? Is it Rathy? Um, that sounds right. Yeah. Um, called for him today again and um, just went into his voicemail. But I told him specifically what it is, when we want it, and that type of thing. And just reminding him that, you know, this would be, what, the fourth or fifth year in a row that, uh, that he's going to be here. So um, I should be confirming that, you know, very soon. Okay. And then as soon as that's confirmed, we'll get our advertising started for that and get Optimus Prime out there. Let me ask you this. Um, do you want to go with advertising through uh, Gianni's again? And I know we're going to do that closer to the event, but, um, you know, if, if you want me to start making those uh, flyers, I can have them ready to go. I think we should. Okay. Um, we decided we're doing the concession stand, right, since we don't really have to do much for t touch a truck ourselves. Right. right? So, um, you know, we, I mean, we have, you know, nice money coming in due to the fall festival, but I think that we also have to take some responsibility to, you know, bring some of the money in ourselves to the concession stand. So yeah. The more people we get here, the more sales we'll have in the concession stand. Can we do a 50-50? Is that not Absolutely. allowed? Absolutely. Touch a truck? Yeah. What? Can we do a 50-50? Yeah, we can, we, can, we can do a route. There you go. And trust me. I have these things in every color coming out my ears. <laughs> I mean, I would happily do one at the fishing rodeo, too. I know the dads would be into it, but. <laughs> From our fundraiser, like, we have. Yeah, I remember that. And we found some in the concession stand, too. Yeah. So we don't have to buy any of those. Um, which, going back to the fishing derby, um, do we want to go ahead and buy any, like, small prizes, like fishing tackle boxes and that that Dan used to do? Yeah. Okay. Can you take care of that? Yeah. We I, budget of what? Yeah, what's my budget? Because I want to buy a tent. <clears throat> I'm going to get a tent. And? Yeah, like to set up at the prize table. I have like oh, okay. plans. Yeah, because there's a. There's They're a, 20 bucks. Yeah, that's. It'll fine. be like a, the big prize. All right. I mean, you want to cap it at like 500 for for prizes? Because I mean, I'm, I don't know how much. Dan told me he usually spent about 250. Okay. I'm fine with that. I think that'd yeah. be more than enough. Okay. And yeah. plus, we have so many prizes left over from. Yes. So I think half of that would be perfect. So 250. Okay. We're going to need to take inventory on prize because I still have stuff left over from last year's fishing derby. Yeah, still let's do that. There. And then how many prizes do we want total for our kids? Um, I would do about maybe five per age group. Or, okay. You know, between five and ten at the most per yeah. age group. And I ha right now, based on what we have, there's about 17 kids in each of those age groups. Okay. So okay. it's pretty well split. How many age groups do we have? Three. Three. Okay. Yeah. That's, what's my... There's um, 8 to 12, or 9 to 12, 6, 7, and 8, I think, and then 3, 4, and 5. And then I have um, <coughs> the rods that you guys are going to help me carry in afterwards um, from Cabela's. Yeah, can we put them in your office? So they're used. 
Um, but they have fresh line they put like on there to use day of. So I don't know if you like if there's a kid that doesn't have a fishing rod or if one breaks. Like what? Where do you want those? Um, do you want to let Richie Meadows know about that so yeah, they could? Yeah, and they said they'd bring some too. Um, on our next advertising, you want to put too. Hey, if you know, if you're not coming because you don't have a fishing rod. Yeah, like we got you covered. Can we add that? Like, do you like at the registration? Like, do you need a fishing rod? Like, do you know what I mean? Like, people needed bags at the yeah, Easter egg hunt. We don't want everybody coming expecting. Right. To exactly. Be like, right. please make let us know if you need help locating a fishing rod or something. And then we're all inclusive too for everybody. Okay. I'm trying to think, I, it's killing me. I'm trying to think who I talked to, the business down there, say we can put flyers in their building. I cannot remember who the heck it is. I mean, we're not putting flyers for fishing, but we're going to do flyers for Touch a Truck, Gianni's. Yeah. When I know you Gianni's want, will. I know D. Felice, Ron said he, he can put him on his counter. Oh, okay. Um, I'll have the school. I'm sure Cassiola's even would. I, I think it was Cassiola's. Yeah, Cassiola's will. They have that board. I think it was Cassiola's. Oh, brilliant. Oh, I could do South oh, Point Health Club. I go there. They have a bunch of flyers and stuff. And actually, you know, um, I keep getting reminded by uh, the Cecil uh, Postmaster that we need to be putting the flyers up in the post box. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. That too. Why I'm there all the time. Yeah. It was Glenn, Glenn too. <laughs> I got his. I was just there to yeah, I could hit those. Other refund for my taxes. And I, I go. Me and Lincoln go in there, and I'm like, oh, crap, my wallet's in the Jeep. Glenn goes, I got your 68 cents. So he stuck his, <laughs> and he, he told me about putting that to it was. It was money. I swear he tells me every year. I have his apron. Can you print me some flyers, and I can get some out? Jack, can you print some flyers? Sure. If you Once print we, them, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll deliver them down here. Okay. Do we have those flyers? Are they ready to go? <laughs> Once again, as soon as we know about the, the helicopter. helicopter. Yeah. Because it's on there, so we don't want to put them out if it's not going to happen. Yeah. I, I don't think it's going to be a problem, but uh, as soon as Rob will get back to me and so we go, because I got to, one of the things I have to do is I have to go through the fire chief because they have to do this air that coordination. Oh, yeah. wow. And, um, and that shouldn't be a problem, but it's, it's just the, the details that, that go, go into it. So, I mean, if, if Rob says no problem on that day at that time, um, I'm sure Ted will do whatever he needs to do to get it, you know, so. And of course, the helicopter is always weather permitting. Yeah. Right. So. Yep. All right. Anything else for touch a truck? Okay. We're Community good with Fun Optimus Fest. Prime. Huh? Okay. His room booked. Okay. Uh, what about the uh, uh, the school? School's fine. It's the um, okay. I I I'll take care of the room too because I finally got the credit card. Oh, I, I thought you. Or did you pay for it? And I'm gonna. No, no, no. Did um. The principal? No. It was, um, you was going to give her a card for have on file. To hold up, hold it, yeah. Yeah. Did we, did we, we did that, right? No. Okay. I'll, I will do, I'll do it, I'll, I'll do it tomorrow. I, I don't ever, because I just yeah, got the credit card. That's fine. I mean, that's, that's just, this, I, I thought, I thought that was done. I if you need me to, call me tomorrow, I'll put it on mine. Okay. No, I, I, I have the credit card now. Okay. Yeah, just let me know. If you need me to, I'll call Robin and do it. Okay. Um, I got to circle up with all ways. Um, I'll call him about the school thing. Billy. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure he's, you know, he's still aware. I know yeah. we're good, but. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He, he'll. Good neighbor. And the police and fire department are all set up to escort? From what or I understand, I believe. Handling that. Tola order reached out to. Police and fire. Sean? Okay. To give him an escort and everything up to the school. All right. Uh, cool. Just know that Muse has a new fire chief, so um, whoever she talked to prior to last week, uh, she who's may it, have. Who's to, it now? So if I. It's Matt Bloom. Okay. Okay. Because always is going to take their monster truck up there, too. Awesome. For the kids. Yeah. Wonder how many parents are going to try to be up there. <laughs> I'll be there. <laughs> Hoping to ride the thing on the way up. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm just going to tell you this up front. If any kids get to go, related to all of us, go where? On that truck. Oh yeah, a bit. Braden would kill for it. Blake won't care. Nope. Braden, it would make his life. Drive him up to the school that day. He'll be there. That's <clears throat> where he goes. But I'll be up there to make sure. Okay, yeah. 
Yeah, I'll make sure. But yes, I mean, he, he lives and dies for trucks. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, of course, Arden's nephews will be um, in a different school no, district. I think Braden, get, yeah, no, Braden's good. Get him on there. Um, okay. So, uh, we good moving on to Fun Fest? Okay. So, for Fun Fest, we have the Marketplace book, and we know they're doing nine to one. Um, the, we still want the water stuff, correct? We all agreed to that. So we went to water slides. And we didn't really have bounce houses. Everything we had was water related, right? Yeah, what was that other? We didn't have the what? The dunking booth. Yeah, the, the dunking booth. Dunking tank. The water <clears throat> slide, and then we had a couple kiddie pools. Yeah. What was, the, what was the other we didn't have, you said? Didn't we have water in the one bounce house? Yeah. Yeah. There yeah. The, the water slide. Water slides, yeah. 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 So basically, we can call them and tell us to give us a quote for the same thing we did last year. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We have the date wrong on it's uh, July 13th instead of June 13th on the minutes. Oh, yeah, it says June. Oh, when is it? It's in July. Yeah. Um, and then remember, Wendy, we talked about uh, me and Arden will not be there. Yeah, which also brings up the fact that both Arden and Nicole will not be here. So we really need to reach so out. Yeah, look, you lost, you lost two instead of just one yeah. now. So we need well, to reach Jason out and really try to get some volunteers, too. That's but I'm still work working with the school. Anyway. So. so it is June 13th. Okay. July 13th. Oh, I thought it was going to be... Same. But I'll do whatever I can prior to or whatever. We know you will. Um, so here's one question I have. I brought mm. up what a lot of the other places do on their Fun Fest, and I went to the Fun Fest at Crown Center. What they do is they have community-type places, set up a booth. They usually have some little thing where, you know, the kid spins the wheel or whatever. Uh, when I was at Fun Fest at... Crown Center, I talked to Washington Health System, I talked to the Girl Scouts, the Trolley Museum, and I know there was another one I talked to um, that all said they would be interested in having a table set up here. And then I got a message from Wesley Services where she said if we're going to do something with community outreach tables, they would like to do a table. So I know there's interest in it. So our issues would be where would we be putting this versus all of the um, water stuff? And the one thing about doing this is it would, we could still have, of course, our bingo, which uh, Nicole has brought up having uh, candy bingo, which I think is a great idea. Um, you can all voice your opinions on that. The CM dance team wants to do a dance workshop, so they yeah. would like to do a. Now, which <clears throat> dance team is that? CM. Yeah, Candy McMillan. Yeah. Is that the... That's, I, whichever one contacted you. Yeah, oh, I reached out to her. And I, she, Melissa. Melissa, yeah. Yeah. And she was checking with the coach on their availability. I, while I had a few minutes last night, I talked to her here before she went up to the microphone and said, you need to get, you know, you need to let us know what you want to do. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, she told me that they've been on a vacation or they've been out and she just hasn't been able to. So, yeah. Um, wh whichever, whoever's dealing with it, that's fine. Um, okay. Anything she sends me, I'm going to make sure you're, you're familiar uh, with. Okay. We originally started talking about Fall Festival, but then right. I dropped the thing about Community Day, and that would be ideal you yeah. know, for them. Um, and do we want them for Fall Festival too then? Like we talked about they're going to be in the grass. We like, still well, need to see the schedule of what we have for right. bands okay. so we can figure I out. I just left it like, hey, I know we're t we're viewing Fall Festival, but are you interested in Community Day is how my conversation went. Yeah, because we our standby has always been Lori Allen. Right. And, um, you know, I, I would want to put Lori Allen on the stage and then them in the grass. Right. Um, even though they, they said it would be better in the grass for them. Um, my problem is I'm going to, I'm going to have, uh, one group in the grass while, uh, somebody sets up on stage. Uh, Timothy Earl band is going to take a while to set up. They want an hour and a half set up. And I'm, I'm like, that's, I said, really? I mean, you know, well, how, how much time do you need to tear down? And they want to, um, they don't know Gary. And I told him that, you know, that they were, uh, he was very reliable. Um, they're hesitant to use him. I said, well. Um, let's look at it this way. Use them or don't come, you know. So, um, you know, they are, they're going to use them. Uh, that should cut down the setup time, definitely the teardown time, but the, the setup time. 
they just want time to practice and make sure everything's working. But an hour and a half is, is pretty long. So that's why I was going to put them in the grass um, right. to, you know, to do whatever they're doing and maybe somebody else, yeah. you know. So but Timothy Earl wants an hour and a half to set up. They, they want to start setting up at noon, and they want to go on at 1.30. So 1.30 to um, 3.30 with a, an hour uh, teardown. Now, for, I forget. They're, they're playing when? Saturday or Sunday? Sunday. They're playing Sunday afternoon. Okay. So they'll be playing after the next then? Yeah. And they said, oh, the next is coming. You know, well, yeah. Wait, if they're playing afternoon, when's the next play? They're playing the later. They're playing. Okay, I thought minute. you said or, after, and I was like, wait a minute, that don't work. <laughs> Timothy yeah, Earl, we said before, could only come on Sunday. They couldn't do Saturday. Right. So remember, we moved the next to Sunday. Right. Oh, okay, that's Saturday and Sunday. Yeah. I still haven't seen this. Schedule. Because the next couldn't, they couldn't play in the evening because they already have a pre-engagement. Right. In West Virginia somewhere or something. Right. And he said we could we could probably do both. I'm like, don't don't stress yeah. yourself. I said, I, I want you to come back. I don't want and you we to have Devin and Rough Creek playing Saturday evening, I believe. Yeah. And I it's escaping me who's playing Black Saturday. Dog Hollow. Black Dog Hollow. And will all those bands be putting out like that they're performing at Sea Souls Fall Festival? Like, you know how they make, like, pages you're interested? Like, I've yep. seen them do it with other events. Yep. Didn't know if they'll be out. Yeah, yeah. that would be cool. I know the yeah. next thing that does. I don't know. Rough I mean, Creek, we put it out there, but they Rough also Creek do their own. Right. I mean, they'll all And then it. they share it on our page, and you know. And then what about, do we have any contacts with Kid and Mac Band? Can we do something with them in between that hour and a half well, with Kid the dance team? Kid and Mac Band um, it comes down for the flag raising on Saturday. Okay. So they're we here. Do the ceremonies. Yeah. yeah. I was thinking, why don't we have like a parade or something? Because that's but the first there is a ceremony. Parents. <laughs> All the parents come, it's the first wave. That reminds me, I have to email him. An hour and a half set up, man. I, I haven't know. done that yet. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to him again and just say, you know what, I, I, I can't spare the time. You know, I mean, it, so are, are they locked in or are they still hesitant? <clears throat> no, they're, they're, they're locked in. Okay. Yeah. Um, so we, if we find stuff, though, that can be in the grass, like one thing we talked about was Giggles the Clown. Uh, Nicole got pricing on Giggles. No, That's Giggles didn't get back to me. Um, mm -hmm. Crown like Center didn't on. get back to me on Giggles. We talked about the um, animal guy. Okay. And that would be a good one. The animal guy is how much? Uh, let me. Tell me in. 500? Yeah, it was like $575. And how long is the show? Uh, let me get that. Oh, we had the polka band Saturday morning, right? It's That's what I was do you ever go down 70? Band. There's like it's a sign. Well. It's like animals so or whatever. Like 70, like going towards Bell Vernon. There's like a field with a sign. It's that yeah. guy. Oh, with all the llamas, that guy? I think, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I would think he could be in the grass. Or he does call it stage shows, so I would have to confirm if he could do grass or not. Well, if Noms again, Noms goes in the grass. Yeah, Nom, Nom's going to do his, his break. Yeah, he does 40 to 50, 45 to 50 minutes of an educational program for 13 different animals, sloth, falcon, alligator, to name a few. It's 575 and you could pay the day of the show. So. So Jeff Corwin. Yeah. If you will, yeah. yeah and he was at um, Crown Center, and, I mean, the whole area was packed with kids watching it. Yeah, I just didn't know, like, being down with the kids be able to get to the animals versus being up on stage he has that safety net of it so let me know if you want me to ask he, you want him on the, on the ground or you want him on stage she was thinking like during that filler time that we need for timothy earl but i'm thinking from like a safety wouldn't you want the animals on the stage oh, is she bringing a bengal tiger or what oh i don't know no. i don't know if like his show is interactive like if you go up and hold the sloth like at crown center they had a stage kid. built oh, so he was above the kids. so he was up on a stage yeah okay but no if Timothy Earl's setting up on stage, nothing else can be on right, the stage. Right, right. Yeah, you can't. I, so do you want to reach out to him some. and ask, you you ask him if he could do the grass? Yeah. 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 All right, make sure he cleans up after any animals. I would say Just per say. Jack. <laughs> per Jack, the Those guys manager. No please. dogs or Jack will flip his lid. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Cats are allowed. I'm going to bring mine in. <laughs> so even though... Um, if we have these tables of community outreach type tables, um, we can still have room for uh, cornhole, and I think we should have an adult cornhole and a kid's cornhole. Um, we can still do um, 
Candy bingo, because that would be in one of the pavilions. Um, and, you know, we could still, um, what were some of the other things we did that weren't done last year? There was supposed to be a tug of war. Yep. So, I mean, we could still have those kind of tables and have those things set up. I think one of the things Jack mentioned, though, that would be really important if we do these things is that we really have a set schedule that is right. put out there that mm -hmm. this thing takes place now, this time. Well, you have to. Yeah. <clears throat> Bingo takes right. place this time. Having, yep. Tug of war because everybody's got to yeah. go. Dance workshop, yeah. What about, was that pie contest, was that successful last year? Uh, pie We've was only ever had a few pie. entries. Was it enough? Yeah. 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 But we didn't we advertise chili the first year. it no. very much, like no. very far ahead of time. We might have gotten more. It's a, it's a, no. But also, it's, it's a dead of summer. It's probably going to be 100 degrees. Yeah. So many think we want to be stuffed on our face with pie in the, in the dead of heat. Honestly, I'd rather focus more on fun things for everybody than <laughs> specific things. We could do a pie me. face um, <clears throat> thing, um, pie face artificial or something. Like I, I would scratch yeah. out. <laughs> I wouldn't even worry about that. Well, we, also did, we also did egg throwing it eggs. Egg toss, egg toss, yeah. But we need a, a real tight schedule on those right. things. Right. Okay? I said we bring back lawn darts. <laughs> <laughs> They're dangerous. <laughs> okay. Same. So the big question we need to decide is, are we going to invite these community service tables or no? Well, let me add, add to this. Um, I was called by uh, Columbia Gas. Um, and I'm going to set this down. So. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. And they're going to try to turn that corner, and they want to know if they can come in and set up a table similar to what, what you're talking about. They want to donate $500 um, and slightly more in attorney fees. Uh, so it, it was like bam, 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 you know, and then she saw Dawn up at uh, some uh, breakfast or something. Yeah, like I saw that online. And South Fayette did that at their egg hunt. They had vendors. Like, it was just like that. We went up and spun the wheel. My kids loved it. We, like, planted a, a plant mm -hmm. like, just from the community people. I actually uh, screenshotted all the people they had at theirs. So you can let us know which ones you thought were good, and we can reach out to yeah, them. Yeah, I love that Ivy Brook, but they're in South what Fayette. What are they going um, to talk about? Are we still Yeah, the kids' market's locked in. Kids' market, and then we're going to have – we're talking about local businesses offering – an event for the kids at their booth, not to sell anything. Richie Metals is going to do the fish pond thing. Right. I think it do a different time. Were you saying the kids market was nine to one, then the other thing would be like eleven to three? Is that going to cause Other. one? one well, it's going to be a logistics thing that we yeah, have to we'll sort out. Some definitely. Starting to leave. But Jack's so good at that. We just do it all at once. They're tearing their tables down at one, but the other group stays till three, but they don't come to eleven. I think you're going to have. Well, they're going to be on the other end of the park, though. Yeah. We're there gonna, was plenty of room last year. It's not like there's not going to be enough room. We're going to stretch that out. It's just a matter of where we're going to position the bounce house and, the, and, right. and everything this year. You know, because we kind of just put it right next to Pavilion 2 last year. Right. Because and, of the water. But I like right. Heather's point, though, how we could – I think we should just do everything at once, like with the vendors and the Kids Fest, because people aren't going to wait for the vendors to open. Not the vendors, but the people. Did you put a lot of the larger events just all in the outfield? I just wouldn't want the vendors to start well, leaving. We can have like, yeah, why? Seeing kids kids market leaving everyone. Leave. Yeah, the, everyone will think the event's over, and then yeah, it's we'll also starting stuff. again. We can invite them we to be to here longer. Like so they're like setting up at a different time. Sort of pressure. And the kids are going to be here at the water stuff, so the parents will be right. here. Right. And it gives them, it breaks up the, I think we're just keeping everybody at the same timeline, but having our events throughout the, the day advertised, but like our vendors and our kids at, um, people yeah, that'll all be open time. at the same time. So, so the marketplace for the kids will be nine to one. Then our stuff with the, these these community vendors and the water stuff and our games and that they'll be eleven to three. Oh, okay. Okay, and they'll be on this end of the park, and the marketplace is on the other end, right? To Jason's point, yeah. I mean, and I need to underscore that. I thought that the the kids market is only going to be four hours at most, and you know if they're in by nine and start at ten, then I mean, basically, they're out by two, right? 
then we, we, the whole thing, I mean, this whole thing with the outfield started when we were contemplating a softball game or a baseball game mm -hmm. between um, <laughs> the police and the, and, the, and the fire department. Police said, thank you, but because of the union status of everybody, they're gonna be wanted, wanna be paid extra for being there. And it's like, Go. I get it. I said, it's a community thing, I get it, okay? So um, police kind of bowed out of it. Now, you know, if it wanna be the fireman versus uh, somebody, but here again, we have the paid fireman versus the unpaid fire, volunteer fireman, and I can see a similar situation coming up there. So we may just, you know, cross out the, the, the game thing. And if we do that, then we could utilize the outfield. You know, yeah, because I just think, like, I'm a parent. I get there at 10 for the kids' market, and then I have to wait until later to do everything else. Do you know what I mean? Like, I would leave. I wouldn't know. But that's a question. Are the parents, uh, would the parents be staying there? Um, because, you know, if the kids are done, um, right. you know, then they're they going to pack up and leave. Yeah. And I see what you okay. mean. You, you're saying that the parents would go do something while the kids are uh, apparently when it was first explained to me two years ago, it's not all about the kids doing it all. The parents help out tremendously, and they're a part of this whole thing. Right. And I guess when the kids, when, when they're done, the parents are done, they just leave. Right. You know, so I don't know. The I, parents were not supposed to, I mean, it was. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Bingo. That's how it's That's worded. How it works. That's not yeah. how it works. They so. stand on the side. They're supposed to do money, they everything. The parents they were all doing it. Right. But the kids set were the up, ones the parents that were. were doing all but is your concern, though, that parents who are bringing business, their kids, they're not going to just drop them. They're not going to stay. And like, I think if, if you were bringing your kids, instead of coming at 9 o'clock in the morning, if you wanted to do the things we're doing, you would not even come until, until later. So I wouldn't hit the kids' market. So you could carry on into our stuff. Yeah. Is, is that really what yeah, you're Yeah, that's saying? what I'm trying to, like, as, like, a visitor standpoint. Like, I'm coming to this event, and I'm trying to attend everything like would yeah, that I be think we should spread out. I think it should be more condensed I don't think we need to go till like from nine to three I mean well we, we yeah but I mean the kids want to come like well, they're, they're coming in at nine to be set up by that's seven. already booked okay, so right that's why I think we should just have everything started then is what I'm just thinking yeah, why don't we just start it have, everything have the vendors off. everybody in. vendors everybody and we just kick it off I don't think if people start seeing the kids market leaving at one are the vendors gonna be like um, am, I, am I done? Am I leaving now too? There's it just might be confusing. Yeah, if you, we have people coming and going at different times, if it's just going to be. Well, what's everybody think? I think we should be more condensed. Like, I think by having yeah, it going on at the same time, you have a yeah. mix of people. Like last year, people were shopping, people were over at the you know the, the bounce house thing. People were so it was like milling around. That's the whole idea and it's of it. Not you as know crowded I mean? whole, as like golf festival. Personally, I wouldn't. Me, I wouldn't spread. I wouldn't segregate what we're doing i would make it all one right i mean because the setup yeah. is like a setup it's like a mini festival right setup you know kind I mean? of you're mirror at, the festival in a way but a kids version right. vendors you know what i mean and their parents are helping them put up the tents and then breaking it down so it's a big cars going it's honestly like the heather's there. point if i came down here of lincoln right and he's like okay dad i'm tapped out i'm done i'm gone mm -hmm. I, I i'm not sticking i mean right yeah. as we all know they're dictating the show. So he goes, oh, I'm yeah. done, Dad. Right. I want to go home. We got I'm a good out. hour or two, so and then we're at the park. It doesn't park. matter what I want to do anyways. We're leaving. We're not going to last for six hours. Kids. No. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, I like, let's it mirror almost. it like a fall festival, but kid fall festival. Like, sure yeah. yeah. I do think, though, if we do that, we'd almost have to ask if we could use the lot over next door. Mm -hmm. Don't you? The, uh, $60 yeah, parking. Okay. I'm not, I mean, we're not going to have a... Shuttle. No. Mm -mm. But you know what? My niece said the way they had that set up I with the, um, the hay barrels showing what the walkway was, she said it was perfect. She said, it, you know. Was it that busy last year for? Oh my God. I even took for a stroller through there. Community it was fine. Community. I no. noticed Fall Festival was. Yeah, she said for Fall Festival they had the hay bales. Yeah. Yeah. And she said it was perfect. Community Day was not that. I mean, did it fill we up had... multiple lots? Community Day? <clears throat> no. You'll we still need, need overflow, though. Yeah, I mean, we're gonna need but we're going to be having a whole lot more stuff. Yeah, if, if you're going to do the kids' mark, think that's 75 cars right there for parents, you know, and bringing their kids in. That's what, um, I think it was um, Carol told me or Teresa, one of them told me that they drove by and it was so busy they didn't even come in. Yeah, yeah I hate that. 
Because yeah. there, there was no parking. But that was on Saturday, too. Mm -hmm. But sometimes there's also parents that came. One parent came, dropped off, the other, and then the other parent left. I mean, we were the using the entrance behind the tennis time. courts, weren't we, last year? Yeah. yeah. No, I'm talking about overall, the whole... I mean, they're the not visitors. driving in I'm in front of the concession stand. Yeah, I'm talking about visitors. 75 cars. I mean, just for yeah. the kids, some of them didn't leave their cars. They we have, just so, um, so you are aware, we have 30... We have 42 parking spaces in the tennis court lots, uh, five of which are handicapped. Uh, we have 84 in front of generations, parking spaces in front of generations. What we don't want is we don't want too many cars past the employee entrance there because then you get into the police and the, and the SWAT and you know all those uh, cars over there. So they don't want any cars past the employee entrance, which is right out here. Um, but we can count on, uh, I'd, I'd say, about 90 out here in, in a parking lot. Now, the, the problem is people are going to come in to use the park anyway, no matter what we're doing. Yeah. And yeah. the Montour Trail and that type of thing. Right. So that cuts down the number of, of parking spaces we have, but they can park over public works um, and just don't park in, at Dollar General, you know, so. Did anybody get up and go move their car? Yes. The guy that was sitting right here right. got up, never came back, so. Yeah. yeah, they had to make an announcement. Yep. Okay, so motion to invite the community service booths. Any motion to do so? Motion. Motion. Second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. We'll figure out where they're gonna be more where they're gonna go. Um inviting the CM dance team. We're all in favor of that, correct? Okay, uh, Nicole's trying to track down Giggles the Clown. I, the only person I could find was, I just messaged the mall, Washington Crown Center, who hosted the event, and they never got back to me. But Giggles, like, is scrubbed from the internet. Like, I can't, it's like no, a dark not. clown. Like, I when actually I might it, know somebody it. who knows her, <laughs> because I had a couple friends who saw her somewhere and got into the clown group with her. So I don't know if they still have contact with her. <laughs> That's all you, Wendy. <laughs> I know. I know everybody. <laughs> Got into the clown circle. Yeah. I'm I mean, the, the clown, clown after dark. Trust. Seriously, I was. I Jack, was in. Scrap the ball game. They were in a parade, and we I was in the games. hospital. Like, they uh, were in a parade, and I was in the hospital. And they literally came from the parade in their clown costumes to visit me in the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty cool, actually. Okay, uh, Nicole's um, working on the kids. Candy bingo, but of course we need somebody to run yeah, it. And <laughs> do you want to, I, yeah, do you still want me to do that even though I'm not going to be here? What are your well, thoughts? You know, we'll work on getting volunteers, and if anybody knows anybody, um, you know, go ahead and and talk to them and see if we can vol get volunteers. And I'm actually going to call the school. I did hear, hear from the president of the uh, student council, and she apologized for not getting back to me about the um, Easter egg hunt, but... Um, I am in contact with her, but I'm actually going to call the guidance counselor. Um, so I never got the contact information for the guidance counselor. So. And then I don't know like what to do about the bingo machine. So I, if anybody has one, mine's missing B10, so I don't really think it's fair. I, got, I have two at my house, so i got to check and see if it's missing. <laughs> We're very bingo players. <laughs> and then I was, th yeah, I always say B10 is your magic number. Like, is it? <laughs> but, um, so I'll get mine out and check. I was thinking of using, like, to go with, like, Cecil, like, our ridge, uh, like, corn as the bingo chips, like, deer corn or whatever, as your markers instead of having to buy daubers and chips and stuff. And then if it spills, that's okay, right? It's animal friendly. Yeah, that's true. So okay. you're talking about the concession stand, yeah. Billy Ann is doing the concession okay. stand, correct? All right. For community day? Yeah. Sure. Yes. So Would that frees us all up to do also something like a lemonade else. Yeah. Call numbers for bingo. Lemonade truck? Yeah. Caller, I can do that. I'll see with my friend Billy. I need to do about sheets. Two. Cards. Coffee truck? Well, since you was up there, because I was up there too, did you see the sweetest candy place? It's like my friend's like 12th business she owns now. She needed it for... The, for in, industrial kitchens while she's renting that space. Old Sobrero, Wendy? Uh, where's that? Crown Center. Oh. oh, I didn't even see it. Yeah, the Old Sobrero, where it used to be in the food court, she took that over now. She makes freeze-dried candy, which is actually really good. Oh, I did Skittles. see that. Yeah. I did and see she that. has a lemonade, she has a fancy lemonade thing. 
Okay, we if already. If you want something like that, she can bring like sell candy <laughs> and that. <laughs> Two, it's, I don't. I'll ask her. We also we already had the ice cream truck booked. Now, are we changing our hours to nine to one, or should we go like ten to two? So we're still not totally. Well, still that's. What time is the actual marketplace supposed to open? I thought it was 10 nine to one. Ten o'clock. Yeah, last last I heard, they were coming in at nine, set up for ten, and go till two. So we'll go ten to two too then. So we all agree we're going to change our time to ten to two. Yep. Motion to change to ten to two. Motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. So the whole event is ten to two. Okay. Okay. Any other updates for Community Fun Fest? My friend Drew and his son are supposed to handle the cornhole. So that's taken care of. So somehow we ended up with two sets of cornhole boards, which is a good thing. Um, I thought I had the only two down here, but uh, Wendy found two up in the uh, concession stand. So how they got there, where they got there, I don't know. What, so we have four? We have four, four boards now. Sweet. I thought Stephanie brought some. I was thinking that too. Yeah, no, these are all, all ones I bought. You had yeah. ordered two from Amazon, right? Yeah. Was, and Stephanie brought two in, and that was yeah. what we had. But she took hers because I don't have any more. I mean, we only have the four boards. Okay. There was there was. She had Penn State on hers. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Everything is in, in unopened boxes. That's all I know. I mean, I think there was one. Well, hold on, maybe not. Yeah, there was a smaller version from No, Tuesday there's two morning. big ones that are not opened in the concession stand, and then he had two in his office. Yeah, that remember, were not we open. saw them. There's two in the, in the back in the back storage that aren't even open yet. Remember? We saw them at the set, the we saw them Easter. Yeah. Before we just cleaned up the set. Yeah, I thought That's there were the two that he ordered. They're still no. in the box. The kids' yep. market has so, on their yeah. advertisement page 9 a.m. That's what I thought. So, 9 a.m. to begin. It the, just says Saturday, market. July 13th at 9 a.m. See, I thought they were 9 to 1. Yeah. So, so they're setting there. up a, like at 8? <laughs> so we, we do ours. Personally, I still like 10 to 2 because with having the water stuff, it'll be warmer. Of course, it's July. It could be very hot. We don't know. But what do you guys all think? I mean, it was didn't take all day. Like, you know what I mean? It can be done in a few hours. So if they're starting at nine. They'd have to set up it. They, it's like a little Eight. festival. Some take an hour to set up, so yeah. I don't know. We do nine to one. We can I still do water stuff. Really we don't have any like Amish people in the community, like make Amish donuts. They can do the any events. Amish like people said, would they make like Amish straight. donuts in the morning or something. Dry events at nine. Yeah, the water slides open at ten. Praise to you. Thank God. I didn't know she was going to be gone too. Ormans, yeah. Or about like Kaufman's in or Market in Burgettstown. I didn't know like, but that's we don't have anyone local, is what I was thinking at. Yeah. Ooh, that's my favorite place. Are they open in Orms in Burgettstown? No, there's an Amish market. Kaufman's. Kaufman's. I was thinking like if we're gonna have a morning event, we should have like Amish donuts or something that like brings in a crowd. Turtle Twist, I think, is using Linda's Bakery. They were. Here's here's the problem, Nicole, with. Uh, Mormons, you have to go. You have to be up there at six a.m. Right. Mm -hmm. um, you have to order them in advance, and they sell them till they sell out. So that means somebody, in, in the old days, um, Bob Mikulski and his wife used to go up there and get them for us. Um, there's right. very few takers on on that that trip up and back. So <laughs> Mormons is. Um, Probably I barely not. drive to the other end of Cecil. Well, I will be, I'll be at Mercer camping, but I'm not volunteering. <laughs> but, um, or Madison Donuts, I wonder if they would do anything with us. They're kind of close to us. They're good, too. I, they're expensive, so I don't know. Yeah, but heck, even Dunkin' Donuts You're is right. $14 a dollar. It's a couple now. dollars more, yeah. That might just, it might just be a nice option. If we're having Billy Ann do the concession You're right. Stand. Cancel. Yeah, Billy Ann does I just thought if we had, like, a vendor that would... Yeah, do that, but we just doesn't mm -hmm. exist. Uh, and you know, I, she, she's been having her muffins oh, yeah. again lately. Oh yeah, maybe we could tell her to do like muffins. some breakfast options. Having her muffins, so yeah, that'd be good. All right, so are we sticking then to ten to two? So we're only overlapping an hour, or are we going to switch to nine to one? Is it advertised at nine o'clock already? It's not advertised. Well, it's Theirs on the one. Theirs is nine to one. Nine to one uh, yeah, we can change it. Yeah, can we ask the kids to come at ten? 
and set up at nine, you know, come at nine to set up. Start, start everything, everything at 10. At 10. Right. Kids okay. market, vendors, the whole thing. I don't game. know why, that, that, that's what's resonating with me because that's what I thought was agreed to. Therefore, yes, I you just, just saw it, a. yeah. Do you want to contact her or do you want me to? He accepts early for the parents, too, to get everything together for their kids. And you're going to contact it's Columbia uh, Gas and tell her to go? Yeah. They don't want to get up. Okay. They're middle-aged kids, too, right? Okay. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. They're little kids. All ages, yeah. Right. Rubbing up here. I also talked to um, the firemen about possibly doing a safety demo that day. Oh, okay. So uh, I'll get back in touch with them. Yeah. Yeah, I talked to Mike. You know I have brain fart. You had to go ahead and ask me, didn't you? I saw it. That's why. <laughs> okay, so from uh, from Mike Kazmarski. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so um, so from Lawrence. Yeah. Okay. You you think maybe we can make it a joint effort between all three of them? I. That's what I'd like to do. Okay. Definitely. Cool. Definitely. So. Okay, so I'll take care of that. Uh, Nicole, you're going to talk to the dance team? Yeah, well, I'm just waiting for her to get back to me, but I'll follow up. Okay. Um, we know Billy Ann's doing the concession stand. I'll get hold of these people that have already indicated they're interested in doing a service table. We have the ice cream already booked. Jack's going to contact her. I'm going to check my bingos. Somebody just gave me one, so I'm inclined to think all the balls might be there since she just gave it to me. Yeah. Can we, try, can we ask the, the women's auxiliary to use their cards or whatever? Yeah, what do they use for their bingos? They probably use the daubers. Oh, I bet. they use paper ones, yeah. not the hard ones. Doesn't our fire department have any old cards? Somebody's probably. got to. Yeah, and we'll do the corn and the old cards. Like, this is kids. This isn't going to be an official bingo. If you want to um, talk to anybody in ladies' auxiliary, call Ruth Bushmeyer. And um, I have her phone number. Uh, I'll text her and let her know somebody's going to call her. Um, but she would, she's kind of got her finger on the pulse of everything uh, women's auxiliary <clears throat> down here. So, Yeah, I right. wonder if they would even, like, do they volunteer or anything? I wonder if they would help us run it. Like, we they, collaborate they with would. them? They probably would. Just remind them I gave them a uh, pretty good list for their little, uh, um, I don't know, what was it, a... a market they had and yeah. uh yeah i'll exchange like i'll volunteer for one of theirs if they volunteer for us like you know some type of I mean, back back when we did that the easter thing with that she ruthie said they wanted to get more involved with parks and rec yeah, yeah maybe and, we and, could just uh, work with them and do the bingo yeah that'd be great that would be cool and keep in mind we have venice presbyterian It'd actually be nice if they ran it for us right yeah um, oh yeah presbyterian too um do you think southbridge would want to go with the firemen or do you think they might want to do their own thing or yeah reach out to Jordan um, she would probably uh, she's more of the PR side of uh, EMS if there is such a thing um, and uh, I can give you her contact information I might have it but Jordan, go ahead Jordan and Miller it to me that's uh, Dan's daughter who Dan who Ann Miller, who's in charge of uh, Southbridge. Okay. All right, anything else then right now on Community Fun Fest? We already had the DJ booked, so I've got to switch his time. Um, nothing, I was just writing down that I had to change Matt's schedule, the DJ. Okay. okay. All right. Fall Festival updates, we got Mike the Balloon Guy's quote. Um, the rock wall, climbing wall from the U.S. Army Reserves is confirmed, so I need to get back to Mike on that quote. Um, are, are you and Jason going ahead and scheduling all the interim things since, I, you know, I don't even have the band scheduled to even know how to work with any of these? I never got it. Well, what's the bands? The time frames. No, I have the bands. I don't know what ta times they're all signed up for. Uh, I, I think we. Was, I, I know myself. I was kind of guessed what we had last year. I don't have. Yeah. Do you have a schedule? What the actual yeah, bands I, were? I know. I sent that to you. <laughs> yeah, you sent something to me a while back. But I don't know what technically has been confirmed with each of them right now to work around that too. Well, 
I had this, I had a position on uh, Timothy Earl. Right? I didn't know what, what type of lead time they needed when they pulled me out. Mm-hmm. That's when I started looking for him. And then with Kenneth Miller coming in, and I said, what about this time? And I'm still waiting for her to confirm that. You know, it, it's in the draft. So, so I, I mean, I thought for sure I cut that out, but uh, it turns out no. Okay. And then... Um, did you get a, a contract from Adam the Train Guy, Jack? I have not. Okay. The only one I got was um, DJ uh, from the next, and I got the Polka Dot. That's the only ones I've gotten W and I. Okay, because I he gave us the same price. Everybody agreed to it. I told him we're in. Send it to send it in. So okay. I, I assumed he's. How did he do that last year? Didn't yeah, he, he like mailed it to you? All right. So I gotta look for something from Adam. Adam the Train. I got nothing. Adam Lesnecki, is that okay? So I was supposed to email him back and just con- okay. Let me double check and I'll, I'll either it was I quite a while ago, Jason. Quite yeah, a while I'm back ago. in January. So if he needs something, if he needs a deposit, then we can. Yeah, I'll, I'll put it yeah. in. Okay. Okay. Um, anything else then for Fall Festival? Um, Nicole's going to check and see if the animal guy can go without using the stage. Um, we can always look for something else since we don't have to pay for oh. a rock. Do you remember how much the rock climbing wall was on that? How much we're going to save by? Like five, was it like five grand? God, it was. I thought it was like five. Was it was, uh, I'm sorry. It's four. Yeah, yeah, it was, um, I want to say 1500 So that's a nice chunk we're saving thanks to the U.S. Army, so. So that gives us money for something like a, the animal thing or something. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Real quick. Last year we had. Uh, was that, yeah, we had back rows at one thirty. So I will play right into. What's called on Saturday, Jack. And then. I think I told Devin. I think I already told Devin four or five o'clock. I think I told him maybe four right now. Right. Four to six. On Saturday. Yeah. So two, at that time, it was to be determined. We didn't know what we was doing. That act canceled, looks to be, then. And Sunday at 1130, we had my so-called 90s band, which is, is <laughs> part of, which I'll probably never see the stage here again. But uh, we had them, and then uh, at 1130, I'm trying to think who... Dance party of DJ Matt was at 245. Where's the other band at? I don't even see him on here. I think that year we, we did one less band and we did the DJ. Yeah, DJ oh, what year is this? That would Last be 2022 or 2021. That was 2021. Oh, here's 2023 right here. Duh. We had the high school kid at the end. I thought he was good. I so back roads, good. last year, back roads went on two to four. The next one on five to seven. Saturday. Sunday was 11 to 1 was Tina Daniels Band. Right. 2.30 to 4.30 was Bon Journey. And 5 to 6 was that high school band. Yeah. That's right, because we lost an hour on Sunday because it started at 10 and the band didn't start till 11. Yeah. And when's the polka? 10, 10 to 12 <clears throat> on Sunday. <clears throat> so Barb can sleep in. <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll make her run the great race. We'll make her put stay. in the concession There'll stand. There'll be other people <laughs> Okay. Headset. All right. Um, so anything else on the fall festival right now? We all got stuff to do. Arden and I are going to start working on the invites New to vendors. those that are on our waiting waiting list. Okay. And we have, would I tell you, 88 or 89 vendors? Vendors so far for Fall Festival. So we have like 86. So we're getting there. Yep. Okay. um, So anything, um, Heather is going to start working then on uh, updates on flyers, say the date type things, those type of things. And then we have to start thinking about what movies we want to do for movie nights. So next meeting, please come with any suggestions or email any suggestions, text any message, uh, 
suggestions you have in the interim. Anything else right now? Nope. And you're going to check on the wristbands. Yeah. Meeting adjourned at 758. Okie dokie. If you don't mind, just keep and then I'll make sure our spreadsheet is.